I think for me it, it's a really nice to actually come and see how, how the students have progressed and how they've got to this stage through the regional heats and then coming here for the final just so just to see generally you know, the improvement that, that goes on by competing in this sort of competition. I've seen from really excellent work both on the patisserie side and the cook and serve side and it's a credit really to all the colleges that have taken part in the competition and to Wales. Well, the, the profile of this event is great. It gives the students a chance to show off their skills, skills that, that aren't really um, seen day to day in, in our industry. Um, but in Europe are, are a very, very high level. We're, we're looking to compete now at that level uh, and raise the standards even further. So the, the profile for the college is great, but just more so for the students. Um, show them that, that you know it isn't just a, a job that you can do in catering, it's, it's a profession, it's a vocation. Um, so that I think that's the main thing for, for the whole of the World Skills competitions. I think it's, it's, the, it's the passion, the enthusiasm that um, these young people are showing. Um, where else would they get the opportunity to compete with each other some, so that they know each other maybe uh, from, from previous years but in the main they're, they're all they're new students to this and I think that's, that's uh, the key thing for me. My role is to organise the competition and make sure all the judges are properly briefed to carry on the assessment for three subsections of competition. One was in the kitchen, which is part of the cook and serve Euro skills competition, in the restaurant service, and also pastries and confectionery competition, which is world skills. And these students have been chosen through the regional heats which were held in January and February in North Wales at Clendercliffe College, Mid Wales at College Powys, and South Wales at need for Talbot College. The first thing is the students personal passion must show through their focus. It's not something one can be put in artificially on the day. So they got to be really engaged in what they are doing and got to be very focused and determined to win. But I think passion is the main thing. They must be passionate to produce because we are looking at excellence. They got to excel. There's no doubt about that. I entered the competition last year and I've got another competition tomorrow in the advanced level of the service. Um, it's all experience. You know, in college you learn a certain thing obviously, but when you go into these competitions you get something to back up the fact that you know, you've got a qualification as well as just being able to serve. You can say, yes, I got silver or gold in a cook and serve competition or a service competition. So it's all about the experience and for the CV. I've learned that you've got to stay on your toes more in college you're kind of in that environment where you get used to a certain routine you've got to be able to change your routine when you're outside of college because obviously things change all the time we're in a different environment we have different um, we, ha we have different kind of equipment to use we have to find our own equipment instead of knowing where it was in the college so um, that was one of the main challenges and the things that I learned how to deal with these changes. It's the first big competition I've ever been to and it was very very intense and I've never you know been in this uh, kind of environment before, but it's a good experience to take away. I enjoyed it, but a lot of time you didn't really think about anything else. You just had your head down. You didn't even acknowledge anyone else around you. You just constantly get your head down, constantly cooking, constantly, you know, you got the deadlines that you got to meet. So you have constantly on the case, you know, you haven't got time for five minutes break, five minutes, you only got time for a drink of water, it's just constantly cooking, so, yeah, I enjoyed it though at the end, you know, it was a nice achievement to get the food out there and the customers enjoyed it. Um, you learn a lot just coming, like, coming to a different college and stuff, seeing how they do it and how their kitchens work and just picking up other things of other people, what they do as well, it's really good. I struggle with a few things, I get really nervous, but other than that, the main was, the main course was a bit late coming out. So it was quite kind of hard to like apologise over and over again to the customers, but yeah, that was probably the worst thing today. I really enjoyed it. I didn't think I would because I preferred to be in the kitchen, being like cooking food instead of serving it. But I really enjoyed it today. Because we're in competition, people are kind of under pressure, but it's quite good to be a bit under pressure because out in the industry you are under pressure most of the time. So I find it that's why it's quite it's really important and like it shows you find that that kind of the better in yourself really.
What has impressed me most today is the professionalism of the student, I think. When you walk into the restaurant or in the kitchen, you can see, although there may be six candidates there working and you want to give them a fair chance, but you can see some of the candidates have got real professionalism. They're just behaving like a professional chef in the kitchen and in the restaurant, and you can see that, that they are the people who are going to come to the top. Well, very tiring, but amazing, I'm made up. <laughs> because look at the age of me, I'm a mature student. Well, I think they boost your, your CV and your profile, and obviously it's an achievement to, to, to be a winner. It, it's hard work, and it just, it's just really important for, you know, to, to make people realise that, you know, you're as good as you tell people you are.